You've got your microphone, you've got game volume, you've got Discord, you've got music, whatever it is that you're listening to, I'm gonna show you how to separate audio and OBS with no plugins or third-party apps required, as well as a few other really crucial things to know so you can balance that audio super quick and super easy. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is kind of set up a dummy scene, almost so you can copy this over to each different one. You don't necessarily have to, but it does make it easier if you are more of a variety gamer. But in this one, we're going to make sure we have the scene open, we're going to add in whatever it is. So the first thing, let's just start off with a game. I have Apex Legends open. If you do have this going, you do need to make sure that the game or whatever you wanna capture is open so you can find that. So we're going to capture a specific window and in the drop down, we're going to add Apex Legends. Now you'll notice there is no audio here because we only added the video portion of that. So what we wanna do is we wanna add another source. So here's where we're gonna go. We're going to application audio capture. And in this one, we'll call this Apex Legends audio. You can't name it the exact same thing. So make sure that you have a distinguishing title for it. We're going to hit OK. And you're going to see that there's a lot of things that we can choose from the exact same thing. So what we'll do is we'll pick Apex Legends audio. And now you're going to see that there that is in the background. So there is no background audio coming through. But when I do load that, that's going to be in there. Now let's say that we're streaming music from Amazon or Spotify or YouTube. And we want to make sure that we get that app in particular. So we're going to go back through to the exact same thing. This time we're going to call this one. I have Amazon music and I'm just going to name this one. So I know what it is. I'm going to drop down. It's already selected because that's one of the apps that I have open. And now I've got that. So if I were to hit play, we're going to now have this audio. And this is where some of those filters come in to get a few things going. So you can see where we're going with adding in the video portion and then the audio portion. The exact same thing would happen if we wanted to go in here and let's say we had Discord audio. Maybe we're on a voice call. This will be the last one that we do here. And we'll add the Discord audio. So now we have everything set up. So we have our microphone. We have Discord audio. We have have game audio and they're all separate. But the problem that you're going to have is balancing this. This is a super important step because you can adjust the sliders as needed, but occasionally there's gonna be things that are louder, things that are gonna be lower. But for Discord audio and game audio, you can drag these or you can add filters to these. So adding filters here, you can use a bunch of different things to do this. But the one thing that you want to absolutely do is add a limiter on it. This is basically going to make sure that it won't go beyond a certain level. So instead of dragging the slider, I don't want my game volume to drown out my microphone. So I'm going to put this around negative 20, maybe negative 25, depending on how quiet or loud you want that. So instead of dragging this, I can now just let things play and it's going to cap that at a level that's not going to peak above my microphone. My microphone's normally gonna be around negative 12 to negative six for me, so I don't want that game volume going around that same level. Same thing for my Discord audio. Maybe you have other people talking, you want them to be around the same volume. You can add the filter there, you can add a limiter on it, but you can also add some gain to it to make it a little bit louder so that you can amplify maybe a quiet voice. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can do here with a compressor, which would actually be better Better. But for the sake of getting this set up, just add a little bit of gain, which is adding volume essentially to the people that are coming through and then add a limiter on it. And that way they don't go above a certain level. They don't go above you, but they'll also join you at that level. So the dialogue and the voices will be at the same level while the game volume will remain at a lower decibel. And you can do the exact same thing for your music audio as well. Knowing how to separate your audio and OBS is one part of having a great stream. Another part is making sure that your mic microphone sounds as good as possible. So check out this video on making sure that you have the best sounding microphone that you possibly can using the filters in OBS.